So I actually survived Black Friday, barely, but I did survive. So I'm going to definitely show you my haul I got from Black Friday, but also mix in the fact this is my November Blu-ray DVD update. So it's kind of a mixture of the two, but I mean they go hand in hand. Also be sure to stick around at the very end because I'm going to show you the coolest thing I got at the very end. But yeah, let's get on to everything I got. The first thing I got this month actually is something I've seen plenty of times before, but they just put out new steelbooks for it, and I, I've never owned it, so I figured, hey, I might as well get it on steelbook. It is the steelbook of Man of Steel, you know, the first one in the DC Extended Universe. And uh, I also liked it because it's, you know, the artwork for these new steelbooks is uh, Jim Lee. I don't know if you, most people know who Jim Lee is. He's a very famous comic book artist. But, you know, if you don't, just Google it. This next one was more of like an impulse buy, just because I saw it while I was at Best Buy, and I'm obsessed with steelbooks. And it's the steel, new steelbook for Flatliners. Not the newest one they just made. That was pretty bad from what I've heard. I actually didn't see it. But this is the Kevin Bacon one. With Keeper Sutherland and Julie Roberts and all them. Uh, I mean, I, I actually do like this movie. But, I mean, it's still, like, not something I think they should have made more of. I mean, it was kind of just forgettable. But, I mean, still, solid movie. This next one's actually something I did want to see. But I just kind of didn't get around to seeing it in theaters. And then I never made a review of it. And it's kind of just passed me by. And it was one of those things where I just figured I'd go see it when it came on DVD, Blu-ray. It's The Dark Tower. Uh, you know, the one of the very many Stephen King adaptations that came out this summer. I mean, it was okay. I mean, it was literally short. I mean, it was like 90 minutes long. That could have, if they had just extended the runtime, it would have been a little bit better. But still not the greatest definitely the least good of all of the Stephen King adaptations that came out this year I had to buy this next one from overseas just due to the fact that they just didn't make a steelbook for the U.S. for this film which is really irritating because the other two films in the franchise I got steelbooks for so my OCD was going crazy like I'm not gonna get this steelbook for this so I have to buy from overseas and it's the steelbook for War for the Planet of the Apes it's a really great steelbook I mean I do like steelbooks but I mean it was also a really great film but it's just the <laughs> Ink. It was very annoying to actually have to buy this from overseas and have it shipped here. It took like weeks. But I think it was worth it. I mean, this movie was great. I mean, probably my favorite of the three new Planet of the Apes films. This next one's actually, ironically enough, another overseas purchase. Because I'm trying to collect all of them as they keep releasing them. And uh, it's season 10, well, series 10 of Doctor Who, the steelbook for it. Uh, they're like Amazon exclusives over in the UK. So, I mean, I like the steelbooks that they make for these new Doctor Who seasons. I mean, we'll see how the new Doctor Who is with Jodie Whittaker. I wasn't, like, a big fan of Peter Capaldi either, but, like, he was at least tolerable. It's also cool that they came with this little, these, all these little lenticular things. Like, you move them back and forth. I'll probably end up putting these somewhere. But, yeah, see, Series 10 was okay. I mean, but, I mean, we'll see if it gets better with Jodie Whittaker, you know, as the Doctor, the first female Doctor. Now we're moving on to the Black Friday haul portion of this video. Uh, first off, it was just, I only got it because it was really cheap, it was like five bucks. It was the, uh, the steelbook for Inception. I'm one of the, my favorite Christopher Nolan films. Uh, I literally only got this because it was like five bucks and I'm obsessed with steelbooks, but it's still a really good film. I've always liked Inception, probably, it's probably in my top five Christopher Nolan films. This next one is another one that was on sale for Black Friday that I actually never owned previously. And one of my friends, John from The Real Talk, who I mentioned in my last Blu-ray video, uh, he told me to get while back uh and it's a uh, watchman the watchman director's cut steelbook that was at best buy uh i have seen Watchmen before i do like Watchmen, but i've actually never seen the director's cut of it so i'm interested in seeing how different it is plus i actually haven't i don't really remember too much from Watchmen because it came out a while ago but uh, i know john will be happy to that i actually got Watchmen when he sees this video so shout out to him Make sure you go check out his channel. Hopefully he starts uploading more videos again soon. These next three DVDs I got while also while I was out and about, but they're not like too noteworthy. But uh, I got season six of American Horror Story, Roanoke. Uh, I mean, I didn't really like this season that much, but it's almost become like tradition to buy these seasons for dirt cheap on tar at Target on Black Friday because I got the other five seasons from Target like for like 10 bucks. But, uh, but yeah, uh, after that we got A Cure for Wellness on DVD. It was five bucks at FYE. Surprisingly cheaper than Best Buy. Uh, this movie is actually like kind of underrated in my opinion. I mean, it's still like not the greatest. It kind of falls flat towards the end, but like it builds a lot of tension and a lot of creepy atmosphere throughout most of the movie. It just kind of falls flat in the end. But I definitely recommend you check out this movie. It's just like just be just. It's a little disappointing in the end. That's all. And the last DVD I got at Target was Manchester by the Sea because it was six bucks. I always heard really great things. I mean, Casey Affleck won an Oscar for this last year. I just, it's put on Amazon and I don't have Amazon. 
So I figured I might as well pick it up for six bucks and see what all the hype is about. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. My favorite thing I got from Black Friday shopping. Uh, I got it at Best Buy. It was on the very bottom shelf and it was like turned. They only had one of them. And it's the uh, limited edition box set of the Batman, the 1966 show. You don't really see too many of these come up these days because they came out a couple years ago, like 2014. They finally actually released these on Blu-ray. These are really limited. They're only like nine. They only made 95,000 of them. I mean, I think I got what, something 73, 72,000 something out of 95,000. Prices for these fluctuate because I mean they go from playing like 130 bucks to 100 bucks. Apparently this was 100 bucks at Best Buy, but I got it for 60 because it was 40 dollars off. But uh, but yeah, they're they're pretty limited. You don't really see these around too much. I was glad I got a good deal on this because I love me some Bat Batman, Adam West, Burt Ward, all them. So, very excited for this. Anyway, thank you for checking out my Blu-ray update uh, slash Black Friday haul. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Uh, but until the next time, I'll see you guys later.